Welcome. Welcome aboard passengers. Mega Sim here. Today, we're looking at the 1938 Heritage Tube Stock. That's the new DLC from Rivet Games. Welcome to this 1938 Tube Stock in London Transport Red Livery. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the start and stop procedures. Climb aboard to get started. Okay, so we're at Stonebridge Park and we've got the gorgeous 1938 stock, okay? Now, as we know, uh, Rivet Games did create uh, the Isle of Wight line with the Class 483, which is effectively the 1938 stock that was reduced in size and turned into third rail instead of underground and repainted and all of that. So Rivet Games has uh, utilized that and created a brand new DLC for the Bakerloo line. So what we're going to do, as I said, is we're going to have a look and see what goes on. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. Okay, a lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Okay, so we're in. It's a very short... Look, look at that. Look how, look how small that door is. Very small. Anyway, right, so let's uh, put that down and sit in the driver's Insert seat. Insert the master key to enable this cab for driving. Okay, so with the master key, it's the same as the Bakerloo line, where it's over here, and the 483. So we put the master key in. And then, can you see, it now, if you move the mouse or your controller over, you'll be able to see the master key lever off. So turn that on. Headlights are important in letting others around know that this multiple unit is operational. Okay, so we've got our headlights on there. Insert the reverser key. We've also got the instrument lights here as well, so it's good to have that one on too going to reverse key and we can actually move this with our controller or we can press it on the keyboard or the up down arrow uh, on the d-pad so i'm going to put that into forward two okay yes. fine okay use the button on the guard panel okay so this is something where the old underground trains um they never had the ability to open and close the doors here. But, so you've got the instruments, you've got uncouple, cold start, coupling button. But there's no button to open and close the doors because it was done by a guard. So what we need to do is we need to walk down to the train. And this is also where um, the lights are. So um, here you've got the lights to switch on um, and off um, for the passenger lights. Um, but we've also got the buttons here so we could do this ourselves we could uh walk here and press the buttons all the time what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk back we could either walk back to the cab or we can press Control zero on the uh keyboard okay now when opening and closing the doors you can press the tab to open that up or you've got the left and right d-pad on the controller or you've got y and u on the keyboard so yeah loads of different ways to be able to uh open and close those doors. So I'm going to press Y. Now move the train brake into the released there position. Okay, so train brake. Released. Move okay. the master controller into the shunting position to start moving forward slowly. Okay. So we've got this master controller here and we can use the mouse, but I'm actually going to use... When the multiple unit starts moving forward, you can increase the master controller to increase the speed. I use the keyboard for this. Here we go, let's go full parallel. Full series. Have a look. Oh, forgot. Got to close that. Okay, so we need to stop at the next station. Um, so what it's going to do is it's allowing us to get there. So with this, um, we've got the brake and the power separate on here. Let's have a look on the outside. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're coming in now. So what we can then do is we can now start uh, applying the brakes. I'm gonna do a minimum on that. 
Need to be careful because the red light is right at the end of this station. I'm going to release that because the brakes are pretty good on this. They're not as good as, you know, the uh, Bakerloo line train, the 1972 or the 465, you know, but they are pretty good. Not sure what's going on with the uh, sound sounds slightly off on there. Okay, Halston is uh, this stop, so let's start slowing down. <gasps> Bakerloo line, look at that. That's nice that um, they've been able to include that train. Oh, it's just going through this station. Man, okay. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. Okay. There we go. Okay, no clipping. That's good. So, again, we can either get up. And open those doors. Going to jump back in. Here. It's weird that the, um, that Bakerloo line train just went through. No, we do open that one. Yeah, look, here's another one coming. So, yeah, I wonder what that's going to be. Hopefully that's going to be a 1938. Anyway, let's uh, shut those doors. Okay, so, set brake to max. Okay. Is it going to do it? Normal. Max. Go back to that. Set the EP brake to max. I am on max. Right. Do it again. Right. Uh, there's another Bakerloo line. Oh, this one's actually... This one's stopping. Okay. That's all right. That one's stopping. Okay, so reverser is out. Oh, set the headlights to off. And we can do the instrument lights off as well. And then we uh, do that to off. And then we in and out and shake it all about. Uh, let's put that in there. We want to do that to 30%. Okay. Okay. Good work. That's the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more details about the full functionality of this multiple unit. Oh, okay, that was quick. But no, that is the intro into the 1938 stock. I do like it. It is a good train. So yeah, only a quick video because I wanted to have a look at that. Just had a bit of spare time um, to be able to showcase uh, that video or oh, that new train. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a good one. It's gonna it's gonna take a while to uh, you know get used to it because you know as as you can see if we if we just go in and we go to main menu, look at that. Yes. So we do have scenarios. Uh, we've got blast from the past, which is sixty minutes. Rainy nights, fifty, and old dog same trick, sixty minutes. Uh, we've got the training which we've done. And then we've got the timetable. Just be aware this is something that is being fixed. They are aware of it. Okay. And if I go on to here. So as you can see, um, we've got some short trips and some long ones. You know, that's a 25. That's an hour. So that's just under an hour. That's uh, Harry Willstone, full length, all the way to Elephant and Castle. So yeah, some good, good journeys here. Even just looking at, you know, the London Road Depot, that is a really nice uh, place to be. So, yeah, let's have a look at that because I want to want to see what it looks like there. Here we go. Let's go to eight. Camera eight. And look at that. Look at all of these trains. Look, a clue line special. And if we go on to uh, the actual train itself, look, we've got Wembley Central special. Um, but we can actually uh, open this up. And this is where if I change that there. Uh, 
Elephant. Queen's Park. Stonebridge Park. Aaron Wheelstone. Waterloo. Piccadilly Circus. Paddington. Lambeth North. And uh, Joe, it's Lambeth, not Lambeth. <laughs> uh, Wilsden Junction and Wembley Central. Doing the Lambeth walk. Hey! Sorry, I had to say that. Okay, we've also got um, these numbers here, but I don't think you're able to change them in there. And then just shut that up and uh, weak field flag. I will have to look and see what this wheel weak field flag, you know, is all about. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to set up. You just need to get it right. Here we go. And yeah. Here we go. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Le Mega Sim. Social media links are in the description below. We will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you later guys. Bye.